Hello, welcome back to Chat About It, Don't Chat About It with me, Rachel, the Queen of the Woke, as crowned by one of my haters. So I'm away at the moment, so we've got some slightly different content to what we have normally. You will know that I'm an economy gig worker in addition to my acting and, of course, in addition to my YouTube channel. Brew, Deliveroo and the other apps have been a great cause for news items, newsworthy items in sort of the last year or so. And it's all to do with the pay and all sorts of things. And I came across this article. This was actually released a little while ago. Of course, it will be linked below. Cause for investigations of Uber Eats and Deliveroo after raid on Bristol Caravan Camp. Okay, so migrant workers, immigration, it's a huge cause for contention here in the UK. There are people who are totally for it. There are people who are totally against it. And one of the things that happens is when they come to the UK, they come and work for these delivery apps. There are illegal immigrants who actually do work for the delivery app. There appears to be, in my opinion, a, a sort of like underground sort of illegal thing that's going on with these delivery apps that the delivery apps themselves are not directly involved in. so what I'm what I mean is like people have like multiple phones um, and maybe have accounts that are set up for the illegal workers who come in to rent and what I mean by that is they pay someone to use the their account and that, that that's obviously difficult for someone like these delivery apps to actually control there's it's very good for them to do that now that is a form of slave labor unfortunately and it shouldn't be happening so migrant workers accuse the home office of targeting the victims of labor exploitation rather than the companies profiting from them okay so everything that i'm going to say in this video this is my opinion i'm not doing it to undermine anyone who works on the app i'm not doing it to undermine delivery uber eat just eat i'm not going to do that migrant workers Living in a caravan encampment raided by immigration enforcement officers have accused the Home Office of targeting the victims of labour exploitation rather than the companies profiting from the hidden economy. The Observer reported in August that about 30 mainly Brazilian delivery riders working for large companies such as Deliveroo and Uber Eats were living in dilapidated caravans in the centre of Bristol. Many claimed they were, in effect, earning below the minimum wage and could not afford to rent in the city. I will say, having worked for these apps, it is very, very difficult to make the £12 per hour if you were just working for one of the apps alone. You have to, without a doubt, work across as many as you can, without a doubt, because you will not make the minimum for it if you if you don't it's just simple facts how do i know that because i work for these apps so it emerged the roadside encampment was raided by immigration enforcement officers on 3rd of october with 17 people arrested and 13 people taken to detention centers in london they now face potential removal from the uk even though some of them have lived in the country for years but my question is if they've lived in the country for years do they have the le their legal rights to work that's the question, you know, and this is a question on everybody's lips in the rider community as well. We quite often wonder who among our immigrant riders actually have the legal rights to work. I can I can name a few that I know that do have those rights to work. I witnessed an argument in the McDonald uh, collection area between an illegal immigrant and a legal immigrant and oh my goodness it was something else celia campos 45 who works for both delivery and uber eats said about 20 immigration enforcement officers and police officers swept into the encampment in the middle of the night they arrived around 4 a.m knocking very hard and shouting to open the caravan doors many of us woke up scared she said i'm outraged fathers and mothers being searched as if they are animals we are workers not criminals the new government has pledged to expand detention capacity and set up deportations with those caught working illegally detained and swiftly removed the raid in bristol was backed by 
Angela Eagle, the Minister for Border, Security and Asylum, who said, we are determined to clamp down both on illegal working and exploitative treatment of illegal workers. However, Campos, who claims she earns below the minimum wage, said the raid had done nothing to help the workers living in the encampment. The Home Office is going to the wrong place. They should be raiding the companies. She said, if the government was really concerned about workers, they would be looking for a better way to regulate these companies. Now, that is true, but I have seen some changes within Deliveroo sort of within the last year which is them clearly trying to work on it I I will say that so there's something so there's something in place where you can have a second rider on the account but that rider now has to have the legal rights to work within the UK and has to be registered so say if I wanted somebody else on my account they I would have to register them to my account with their ID and their rights to work and all of that. So, you know, they have started putting things in place to try and crack down on it. And this happened before this article was released. Campos echoed calls by the deputy leader of Bristol Council, Heather Mack, to give undocumented workers a route to citizenship to protect them from exploitation. Mack said, why not create a way to help immigrants work here legally? That way they would be helping us and at the same time gaining more labour to help the country grow. I hate to break it to you here. I'm going to be quite blunt, but there is actually a process that you go through to apply for your rights to work here within the UK. And you have to do that from your home country. But there is a way to do it. And those people who ignore that system, well, they face the consequences of ignoring that system. Sorry, blunt as hell, but it's true. There are estimated to be between... 800,000 and 1.2 million undocumented migrants in the UK who do not have valid visas or other types of immigration documentation. More than half of them have been in the country for at least five years, but there are few routes for people to regularise their immigration status compared with similar European countries. Many end up working in the gig economy. Legitimate accounts on delivery apps are often rented, there you go, I told you, out to undocumented workers who have to pay a proportion of their earnings to the owner of the account. That is my opinion, in my opinion here, that is modern day slave labour. That shouldn't be happening. The Independent Workers Union of Great Britain, the I. WGB, which represents gig economy workers, even though we have the GMB as well, called on the government to target companies exploiting migrant workers instead of going after the employers whose business models are built on exploiting the desperate. The government opts over and over again for performative cruelty towards the people who are just trying to survive, said Alex Marshall, president of the IWGB. That government ministers should cheer on these home office attacks on unprotected workers is contemptible. Deliveroo, which recently fought off a seven-year legal challenge to secure the more rights for the gig economy riders, posted its first profit this year, reporting net earnings of $1.3 million in the first half of 2024. Uber, which provides taxis and food deliveries, saw its, pro- pre, uh, saw its UK pre-tax profits increase from $5 million to in 2021 to 32 million in 2022. Some unions and MPs have criticised Deliveroo's links with the Labour Party. Deliveroo's chief executive, Will Shu, attends a drink party hosted by Keir Starmer in July. The company has also sponsored a series of Labour events with its latest annual report showing that it spent £5,000 on a business reception at last year's Labour conference. Wow, so if you can do that, then you can afford to pay your workers. Sorry, just throwing in a little, like, I want more money, dig there. A home office spokesperson said Deliveroo, Uber Eats and Just Eat have already introduced or will soon introduce right to work checks on registered substitutes with the responsibility to register substitutes being on the account holder and their account being at risk should they fail to do so. I can confirm that the uh, 
delivery app is doing that. A delivery spokesperson said it, all its riders must have the legal right to work in the UK. We are the first major platform to roll out direct right to work checks, a registration process and identity verification technology for all riders. We are committed to strengthening our controls to prevent abuse of our platform. It added that it offers riders attractive earning opportunities yeah, and protections, including free insurance, sickness cover and financial support when riders become new parents. I can confirm that the attractive earning opportunities don't exist at the moment, but they do do free insurance for the cyclist and, and the sickness cover. Yeah, well, that's a whole different video, I think. And financial support when the riders become new parents is also something that they actually do. Uh, an Uber Eats spokesperson said that all couriers must have the right to work in the UK and a courier that fails to meet the criteria would no longer be able to use the Uber Eats apps. We engage regularly with the Home Office and the police to ensure that all couriers are using the app to comply with UK laws. Part of the difficulty with these apps is that they can only do so much in order to actually sift out the ones who are using the apps illegally. There's an undercurrent for sure within this sort of gig economy where accounts are actually used illegally and it shouldn't be that way. So, you know, immigrant workers, they come to the country without their documentation for visas, so they don't have the right to work. So what they do then is they go into the gig economy because people will rent them those accounts and then they can essentially work for pittance, make their money pay the person who they are renting the account from, which is illegal in my opinion, and then send money home to their family. And these apps are putting things in place to actually try and crack down on it, but there's only so much that they can do. I have had riders, riders I should say, come up to me and say, you know, please rent me your delivery account. No, the answer is straight up. No, I'm not going to do that. Why? Because I think that is wrong. It's exploiting you if I actually did that. So I'm not saying that these companies are exploiting these riders. Okay, just to be clear uh, that it is so complicated, but I think a crackdown does actually need to happen because these because these delivery apps are, are just washed with too many riders. There are way too many. And there are like a select few that I actually know own their own account. And this is a situation where I think the Home Office and these delivery apps and the police all need to come together and the government need to come together and actually work out a way that they can actually make it better for us workers who use these apps. The thing is, that's going to be immensely complicated and it's going to take a lot of time to be able to do something like that. I started on Deliveroo and I could do 60 quid within like four hours, say, just do and just do that on Deliveroo alone because there was hardly any riders that were doing the job. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, like end of lockdowns, when the lockdowns lifted, suddenly there was about 50 people on bikes coming out and doing this job. Anyway, let me know what you think. Chat about it, don't shout about it. Like the video if you'd like to like the video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.